Hey guys, it's Jordan with National Speed, and today we're equipping our 2020 Toyota GR Supra with Flex Fuel. And in this video, we'll cover what Flex Fuel is, how it works, the parts we're using, and the installation procedure itself. Now, you might recall that recently we tested out various fuel solutions on this car, including 93 Octane plus Boost Aim Professional, VP Racing MS109, and of course, VP Racing X98 Ethanol. And while each of these solutions performed very well, ethanol was the clear winner, not only in terms of performance on the dyno, but also for price point. And here's a quick review of how each solution performed. 93 octane plus boost aim professional at approximately 105 octane, and again at 107 octane. VP Racing MS109. VP Racing X98 ethanol diluted to 40%. And as a quick refresher, our setup made optimal performance on about 40% ethanol, as anything much past this percentage resulted in the fuel system hitting its limits, which negatively impacted performance. So given how well ethanol performed, the natural progression from here is obviously flex fuel. But if you're watching this video, then chances are you might be researching what flex fuel even is. In short, flex fuel allows the vehicle to operate on gasoline, ethanol, or any mixture of the two, all without having to change the calibration file. And in our case, our A90 Super here is calibrated on straight 93 octane and up to a 40% ethanol blend. So let's say that, hypothetically, I five-fingered the math for blending my fuel and ended up with about 28% ethanol content, which definitely never happened. Then I still only have these two files to choose from neither of which is ideal for that ethanol content and would either lead to inefficiency or potentially an unsafe running condition. But Flex Fuel solves this problem, and it essentially does this by blending these two files together so that the ECU knows what to do at either end of the spectrum or anywhere in between. And in our case, that allows for optimal performance at any blend of ethanol from 0% to 40%, even my accidental 28%. But one question you may have is, how does the ECU even know what percentage of ethanol we have in the fuel? Well, there are a couple different ways to go at this, but since we're covering A90 Super in particular in this video, we'll stick with the method used here. And in that case, that includes installing what's called an ethanol content sensor into the main fuel feed line. By applying voltage to the fuel passing through, the sensor produces a frequency signal based on the ethanol content of the fuel, which is then converted to a voltage signal. The signal sent to the ECU, which is ultimately interpreted as ethanol content. This value can then be used as an input to automatically adjust the calibration. But this information is absolutely useless without the ECU knowing what to do with it, and that's where the calibration comes into play. And we'll get to that after we step through the parts we're using and the installation procedure. And for A90 Super in particular, our flex fuel conversion of choice is produced by the guys over at Visconti Tuning. This kit includes all the hardware needed for the conversion and offers a super clean installation that looks like it came equipped from the factory. Plug and play harness, ethanol content sensor, Zytronics ethanol content analyzer, plug and play fuel line, and all the miscellaneous odds and ends needed for an installation. And with that all said, let's follow over Alex's shoulder in the shop as he sets his car up with Visconti Tuning's flex fuel conversion. The installation only takes about an hour and a half and is generally straightforward.
With the hardware in place, it's time for Vlad to dial in the flex fuel calibration. Up first, we start off with straight 93 octane pump gas. Next, we get the ethanol content up to our target 40%. Now we have all the data needed to blend these two together so that the ECU knows what to do with any variation between. And one thing to note with our calibration is that if the ethanol content exceeds the limits of the fuel system, there are fail-safes in place to prevent engine damage. But these fail-safes do negatively impact performance, so it's best to stick to the optimal blend. With all this set up, the ECU now not only knows the ethanol content of the fuel, but also what to do with that information. And a cool feature with EcuTech is the ability to hijack the sports display and display ethanol content instead. So that's all well and good, but you might be wondering, how do you go about making sure you have the right amount of ethanol in your fuel tank? Well, you need to know three things. One, your current fuel's ethanol content. Two, your current fuel level. And three, your ethanol fuel's ethanol content. So to start, let's have a look at our hijack sports display. All right, we now know we have somewhere between 13 and 14% ethanol fuel. And if you recall from our fuel shootout video, by accessing the secret menu, the A90 Super makes it super easy to see exactly how much fuel you have in your tank. First, hold the odometer reset button until this screen appears. Then, press the button to scroll down the menu until you land on unlock. You will now be prompted to enter your unlock code, which is unique to your vehicle. The code is simply the sum of the last six digits of your VIN. In our case, that's 19. So we press the button 19 times and then press and hold again. We're now in the secret menu. Press the button again to scroll down until you land on tank. And just like that, we have a real-time view of our estimated fuel level. Now it looks like we have 25.5 liters of fuel in both tanks, which converts to approximately 6.75 gallons of 93 octane at 13 to 14% ethanol content. Next, we need to determine the content of our ethanol fuel. This varies if you're getting ethanol from the pump, but in our case, we're using VP Racing X98, which is 98% ethanol. And that's all the information we need to determine how much of our ethanol fuel to add. Now, using any of the calculators returned from a Google search, we punch in this data and figure out how much ethanol fuel we need to achieve our target 40% ethanol content. Let's call our current fuel 14% to be safe at 6.75 gallons. And it looks like we need three gallons of X98 to hit our target 40%. Now, the fuel does need some time to mix, so let's go for a drive and we'll monitor the ethanol content. For science. <laughs> and as you can see, there's no concern about beating on the car while the content is in flux. And after a short drive, the fuel is properly mixed, and it looks like we're landing right at 39% ethanol, back to 520-ish wheel horsepower. Alright guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more. And as always, if you have any questions whatsoever, we're happy to chat. Thanks for watching.